So how do you choose a product to sell online? This is a question I get a lot. I often get inbox, mess inbox messages where people ask me, you know, I want to sell online, but I don't know how to choose a product or I don't know how to come up with a product. And here's one very important tip that I can give you. When you are trying to find a product to sell online, the best product is definitely one you have experience in. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that in a moment. But it's the one that solves a problem. And why I say it's better if you have experience is because if you've personally had a problem with something and then you find a solution to that problem, that is how you basically find your opportunity. So if you stick and watch through this entire video, firstly, I'm going to show you how to use Amazon to find out or find products uh, that you can use as business opportunities, number one. And number two, I'm going to show you a four-step model. I'm going to show you one step out of four steps in terms of starting an e-commerce business. Now, the other three steps, I'm going to show you where you can actually get more information on that because I can't make this video too long, right? So I'm going to give you a, a very personal story here. This is actually a business that my wife started. Now, she's very much into fitness, right? Going to the gym, doing heavy weights, squats. You know, a lot of ladies are into fitness and heavy weight training these days, right? So she started buying, like most people do, online or going to a store. And uh, she went to a local store. Uh, we've got a store here called Total Sport. And she bought, for example, a pants like this. But then what she found was, I don't know if you can see this because of all the ribbing on it. But uh, from just from doing a simple, not even doing a workout, but just literally moving around in this and, uh, you know, doing some very basic exercises, it started tearing and ripping at the back. Okay, so this was a problem. Actually, that's the front. Okay, the back is over here. So you can't really see it here. You need to really put it into the light, but you'll see they developed a bit of a rip right here in the middle. Right. Then she also started buying from online stores like Sheen. And this was a pants that she actually bought on Sheen. You can see here. So it's one of uh, those, I think they call it those scrunch butt leggings. Can see it's got a bit of a scrunch here at the back okay so this year as well right doing exercises with it and here you can actually see the tear can you see that you can actually see the tear right so this year was frustrating her and then she thought you know what there must be a better way to do this so what did she do she basically saw a problem first firstly she identified and experienced the problem she was having so what she decided was i'm gonna find out why these things are tearing so she did research on the fabric blends to find out why these things are tearing and she then got someone to start making clothing for her and she's been selling online her own product so here we've also got a uh, scrunch butt leggings okay but this one here she's actually put through the test you can see she's even got her own label on there okay but this one here she's put through the test and these ones don't tear when she does squats it doesn't tear the people she's been selling to They've actually said they can't tell the difference between this product and, for example, your Nike and your Adidas leggings, which are a lot, a lot more expensive. This is another one, right? Also, one of the problems she had was the, the tummy control, right? Because you need it. Uh, you know, I'm learning this from the ladies, right? You need some tummy control, right? So what she did was you can see how high this is, right? And then once again, you see there she's put her own label on. The manufacturer is doing that for her. So she started this business, okay, based on a problem that she found. And then she went and she found a solution. And people are now buying that product. Why? Because that product actually solves a problem, right? So I'm going to show you very quickly on Amazon how you can find products that have a problem, right? And then you can go out and find a solution and create your own product. So instead of coming up with your own product, she didn't come up with her own leggings. She took a product that was selling well okay and all she did was she just solutioned a problem that she found in it right so let me show you guys a hack on amazon where you can find problematic uh, products or products that are selling well but have problems and then you come up with your own branded product and a solution right so let's check this out okay so what you want to do is you want to come over to google and then you want to type in there amazon best sellers now, why are we looking for Amazon bestsellers? Because the idea is we want to look for products that are already selling very well, but we want to find out what the problems are with these products. So if you scroll down here, you'll see it says Amazon bestsellers, right? most popular items. Let's click on this. Okay, so here we are 
on a page that gives you all the Amazon bestsellers by category. So you can see the first one is tools and home improvement. We've got uh, climate pledge friendly. We've got appliances. We've got clothing. We've got baby products. We've got software. But let's come over here to clothing right now. If you go to clothing, you'll find different products on here. So let's just have a look here. Okay, so here's one. That's, let's have a look at this one. So this one says thick high waist yoga pants. It's got tummy control. So this is one that's selling well. And let's click on here, right? So there's 62,000 reviews. Let's click on this. Okay, so once you get to the product, okay, your goal is to have a look at, you know, what this, you can have a look at what this product is made of. So you can see there it's 88% uh, polyamide and 12% spandex. Uh, you know, let's go over now to the reviews, right? Let's go to the reviews and let's go only over to one star and two star, right? So let's go and read up on the one stars and the two stars. Remember, you're not trying to compete head on with these products. You just want a small portion of their market, right? So let's look at some of the complaints. The knees totally bag out. The seams are coming undone five months later. So you can read those reviews. Uh, okay, this one, this person says it causes a rash. This person here is saying is the stitching is coming out after one wear and one wash. Uh, change the material, not the same as before. They're giving a very nice long review here. Okay, look here. Seams are coming loose. This person's complaining. Bad quality leggings. Okay, should have returned them before it was too late. Okay, this one says it makes it too hot. Thick waist cuts into you. Uh, muffins, anyone. There's no tummy control. So you can see, right? And then if you scroll up, so you read all those, some of the one star ratings, then you can go and have a look at some of the two star ratings. Why are people rating it two stars? Okay, not a very flattering fit. The fabric, not as expected. Poor quality, no tummy control. So as you can see, just in like two minutes, we basically found a product that's selling well on Amazon, but clearly there are some areas for improvement. Your plan now is to go and find these products and see how you can improve them and then create them under your own brand. So to help you with this, I'm going to direct you to a free webinar. I've covered one out of a four step blueprint that you can use to come up with a winning product. As you can see here in this webinar, you'll, you'll learn about the four step blueprint to success. And I basically covered the million dollar niche selection, right? So in the rest of the webinar, you learn about supplier automation. You learn about how to create a page or a web page. And you also learn about the seven platform economies and how to leverage the world's largest platforms to scale your business.